Hey y'all, and welcome back to the character creation course. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn our hair path objects from path objects into mesh objects, so that way we can rig them with ease. Let's get started. So to convert our hair from path objects to mesh objects, it's really simple. It's just three steps, decimate, convert, and then join together. So let's start with step one. We are going to decimate. To do that, go ahead and grab a single hair strand. Doesn't matter which one you do, because you're gonna repeat this action for all of your hair strands. So grab one hair strand and then come over to the modifiers tab in the properties panel. This is a little wrench icon here. And then add a decimate modifier. Now what we can see immediately is that nothing has changed. And if we look down at the bottom, we still have 114,000 vertices. Well, that's way too many. So what we wanna do is drop this down to 0.1 as a ratio. And you can see already for just this one hair strand that we've gone from 114,000 to 110,000. Now, if we actually were to check the wireframe on this, we could see the wireframe of this particular hair strand. If we play around with the decimate, you can see it go back to the full size. But like I said, let's just put this down at 0.1. And now you can see that's the new geometry that will be created for that hair strand when we convert it. All right, and then just to repeat that process for all of the other hair strands, knocking them down to 0.1 as well. So once you think you've added your decimate modifier to all of the hair objects, it's a really good idea just to go back and check them all in the outliner. So just open up that hair container that we created a while back and make sure all of them have the wrench icon next to them. We can see this hair 204 does not. So we're just gonna go ahead and add the decimate modifier there. Make sure that's the last one that we have to add it to. And yep, we are good to go. So the next step is convert to mesh. So now that our decimate modifiers are applied, it's time to turn these path objects that we can see if we hit tab and go into edit mode into mesh objects. So just with all of them selected in the outliner, just right click and convert to mesh. And now when we hit tab, you can see we just have mesh where those paths once were. All right, now that our hair is mesh, we actually wanna do one more step simply because we are not going to be animating any hair here. So we're not gonna keep these as separate strands. We're just going to merge them all together. So once again, grab all of the hair pieces in the outliner, select one that you're going to make the active object, and then hit Control J, which will join them all into one object. Now they're all one object, so you know you just have a hair, a single hair, object in your outliner, when you hit tab, you're gonna see all of them, uh, but we need to change that origin point. So let's just right click and set the origin point to the center of mass. There we go, that's gonna go to about the middle of the head, which will be fine. And then we can see we have a little bit of weird smoothing here. So just make sure right click and shade smooth. If that doesn't work, come over to the object data properties. It's the green upside down triangle on your properties panel. Go to normals and check the auto smoothing just going to make those hair strands look a little smoother and then we can continue to uh, smooth that out if you've still got some weird wrinkles and stuff in your hair that you don't want. So now your hair object is done we just need to do the same thing for the eyebrows. So because we created our hair in the same way that we created our eyebrows it's going to be very easy to do. Simply add the decimate modifier again drop that to 0.1 right click and convert to mesh and now we have mesh eyebrows. There we go, easy, said, and done. We don't need to you know, join them or separate them out simply because they'll be fine on their own. But if you wanted to, you could come in, select, uh, and then hit P and buy loose parts, which will give you two eyebrow objects, one over here for which we can then set the origin to geometry, set the origin to geometry instead of geometry to origin, and do the same thing for the other one. So now we have two different eyebrow objects and one singular hair object, and our hair has been converted for rigging. All right, y'all, that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you wanna see more tutorials, hit subscribe. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you later.